Welcome back to Character Select, Dave and Kylan back for more Scald Against the Black Priory. Which increasingly seems like an inaccurate name because I don't know what's so scaldish about this, but whatever. Also, what the hell is the Black Priory and who's this guy? Uh, the Black Priory is probably nothing good. <laughs> That's probably whoever kidnapped the girl we're looking for. Yeah, or she's leading it, or she was recruited into it. You approach a man sweating profusely and caked in dirt. He's hunched over and panting, seemingly winded from the hard work of digging graves. Who goes there? The man jolts to you, hefting his shovel as a weapon. Not looking for trouble. Why so jumpy? Well, why so jumpy, he asks. Well, since you ask, I drew the short straw and it's fallen on my wretched shoulders to bury the dead. He shoots Drina a sulking glance. If I don't get back to it, I'll be food for the fellhounds before you know it. Fellhounds? Hey, have you seen them? Bloody monsters roam the hills and backs. I ain't never seen hounds like these before. Hulking and diseased looking. Come at night, they do. Dig up the graves I dig and eat the dead right out of their graves. Drina whispers a few words under her breath. In the distance, a howl sounds, and the man straightens up like some prey animal sensing a predator. He briefly squints into the perpetual twilight that covers the island before grabbing his shovel and redoubling his efforts towards finishing his work. Well, you better hurry up then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Do you, want, do you want to do the job for him? You're the one in control. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? We're, we're in good shape, all things considered, but... Uh, the man looks at you with slight confusion, then pushes his shovel into your hands. He thanks you profusely and runs back to camp. Drina nods in approval. That was a good deed. Get to work. There are two corpses wrapped in linen before you. And their graves have been dug, but they still need to be filled in. Examine corpses. The corpses are a man and a woman. Perhaps they were once man and wife, and they look well fed, and there is no apparent cause of death. Drina looks stoically at the pair. They are with the emperors now. I wonder what killed them. Hey, majorly type. Oh. Uh, yeah, click it first. And then you can click on a different character. Oh. Six, Three, six five. Oh, Scala. Okay. Oh, wait, she's the thief. This is the mage. Yes. Okay. Never punished. Oh, just barely. Okay. As you look the corpses over, you notice that their abdomens seem distended beyond that of simple corpse gas. You apprehensively poke at the swelling, and to your horror, the mass begins to squirm and shift. Gross. Ew. Dude, we have to find out what this is. I mean... We have to find out what it is. Yeah, probably. Uh... With trembling hands, you cut into the pallid flesh and expose the entrails of the corpse. Drina leans in over your shoulder. Those entrails don't look... Her words are cut short as the entrails whip out of the wound in a mass of squirming, eyeless worms. Gross. Panic, you frantically scuttle away from the tiny snapping orifices when Roland charges past you with the shovel raised. I'm gonna go with gross. Mm-hmm. The shovel makes short work of the tiny terrors until both corpse and monster is reduced to a pulpy mass. Ashen-faced from horror, you push the broken corpses into the graves and quickly begin piling dirt onto them. As you work, Drina begins chanting. I'd rather have you lend a hand, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll just finish the work, it's fine. You wipe the grime from your face as you finish the grim task. Sadly, you suspect these are far from the last graves that will be made for the poor refugees of Horde before this is over. Alright, well, that Lovely. was fucking awful. Yeah. Okay. I would imagine they don't really have time to mark any of these graves. Right. Uh, hold Alt to see pick upables, I believe. Okay. Or Just interactables. Like Diablo. But better. Anything is better than Diablo. I goddamn hate Diablo. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, uh oh. I thought that said snakes ready. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it did too. <laughs> I was really confused. Uh, so this is pre-combat deploy. Uh, all right, one one quick sec here. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, just making sure. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, pre. Okay, there's Drina. We don't know what she fights like yet. She's got a, a Mase, so. She's gonna pepper spray some people. Probably. And then that's the mage. That's the mage. Okay. Scala. And that's. Or Shala, yeah, sorry. And Shala, that's and that's Cat. Cat, okay. yeah. Alright, that should be pretty good. Ow. Moderate poison! Ooh. Alright, that's Drina. Is that a sleepy snake? Uh, I believe so. Oh, fuck, that wasn't what I wanted. That was. Okay. No longer a sleepy snake. Oof. Now, I don't think we need to. Uh, space bar, I believe, ends the turn. Nope. Oh, guard. Sorry. Five. You can just defend. Cat has zero arrows. It's fine. Don't, don't get yourself involved. Smashy, smashy. Damn it. Oi, get back here. The fuck? <laughs> Squash. 90 XP. Super. And some scales. Oh, it was panicked. Uh, I believe we can grab all of these crops. Oh, yeah, potatoes. More potatoes. More potatoes. Leeks. They are leeks. I thought they looked like leeks. It's pretty good art design. You can recognize a friggin' vegetable based on a sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Onions. Hmm. I love just, a good onion. We're just gonna take all the food from the refugees. Well, they're probably not gonna need it. Hit, uh, <laughs> hit alt. Nope, not interactable. It's a control? That's stealth. Whoops. It's shift. Sorry, it's left shift. Oh. Oh. My bad. Sorry, everybody. It's working it's, a minute ago. It's been a a bit since we played, so <laughs> due to the vagaries of being adults, we have to make time as it comes. <sighs> I saw a piece of paper. Yeah. Hello. A recipe Ooh, for meat, meat skewer skewers. Recipe. We haven't found any meat. <laughs> Six. Read. Onion, spices, beef. Okay, great. Excellent. We now know how to make a, a cow. I mean, honestly, that's kind of a basic bitch recipe. <laughs> right? Have you considered cooking your meat? No? Here's a recipe. Right? Some items. Some items. What are these some items? Uh, I think it's... Yeah, it's just stuff like that. Legionnaire's rest. Calm down, Legionnaires. <laughs> uh, those, yeah. Okay, so the poison poison isn't bad. It hurts, but doesn't hurt too terribly. So that's good to know. Oh, uh -oh. crap! Death glory. I had a lot of crap. Two of them are asleep. See that? Well, get your butt up front. Uh, he's too far no, to attack. Not up there. Yeah. Okay. Can't move that far. Okay. That's a reasonable formation. Cat still has no arrows. I think she's got at least one. It's a zero. Huh. Maybe she has other arrows. Oh, oh no. we haven't equipped them. Well, Great. <laughs> uh, I gotta have a mind to let him come to us. Yeah, I'm gonna try playing this safe. Not yet. Allow them to walk into the trap. Yes, yes, good. Walk into the trap. Okay. Cool, cool. That's magic. Magic. Mommy. Mommy? 
cascade. That means do it again. Nice. And the cascade again. Wow, she actually has a lot of mana. Jeez. Uh oh. That's fine. Rar. Is this gonna cause a disengage? Uh, it might. You've got your weapon raised, so I think it would. Yeah. All right. Just, just bash it. Seventeen is pretty good. Yeah, she does have a lot. Shockwave do again? I don't. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, it's in a line. I see. It's fine. Mark of lethargy. Steel breath. Steel breath makes them choke, but they're crabs. I don't know if they breathe normally. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna we're just gonna stick with good old magic missile. Yeah. Blarg. Good one. Can you target? What's out here? Sure totally can. can. We can the ones at a distance. God, she just is having way too much fun with that. Right. Here. That is yeah. not a disengage. Good. Yeah, when your weapon is up, I think that means you're engaged. No, no, no! Fuck. Wrong button. How dare you. Rah! Go get him. All right. Uh, she yeah, she's running out. Yeah, she could probably yeah. defend. Yeah. Schlonk. Backstab. Nice. Thirty-three I damage. I think that thing was panicking. So. Mm -hmm. Crit. All right. Nice. Titan. You know, good notwithstanding stuff. the fact that they're horrible monsters, crab is good eating. <laughs> <laughs> Just if saying. You like, if you like ocean bug, sure. I like it on my sushi. The yellow thing is pick up a bowl. Oh, thank you. Word loaf. Weird I'd loaf. I don't think I would eat anything called any mushroom that's called a loaf. <laughs> that implies things, and I don't want to like it. Jeez. Okay, where do we rest? Because I feel like we should rest before venturing forth. Um. Technically, we can rest wherever we want, but is there like an inn? Do these people look like they have an inn? Okay, all right, fine. Well, I mean, just yeah, hit right, seven. Yeah. Come down here on this nice soft grass. All right, there. All right, a rough camp. That's fine. We need what? Fifty food? Jesus. Good lord. Uh, Good. the omelet is in the upper right. Okay. And then, if we have any iron rations, which are the ones that third row on the far right, we should use those up because they're garbage. Two. That's three, four, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. There, there we go. That's pretty good. So, we're in found hey. a ration. Hey! Cat flexed an arrow. Found a ration. Thirty XP. Dreamer okay. failed to do shit. That's oh, okay. That's okay. We're fine. Everybody's back to. Everybody's back to good. All right. It's very night now. Of course it is. Um, we also need to find the goats, but I, uh... They're gonna be off this map somewhere. Think so? Yeah, I think so. I don't think they're here. Alright, well, might as well go off the map then. I think we've done everything else here. So, Horde is to the south. Yeah, I'm thinking the goats are probably north. I don't know. I don't know what you're basing that on, but sure. <laughs> well, there's like a little mountain path. Like, if I was going to hide goats, or maybe this way? Can we go? No, we can only follow roads. Okay. Uh, actually, hold on. 
journal? Search for the goats. Okay. Alternate. So what's alternate supply? Oh right. Okay. Hmm. So we can either we can either find the goats or we can find a different way to handle that problem. Yes. So maybe we should go to Horan first to see if there's a solution there. Hmm. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Hi. Okay. Sure. Do you have enough food for all the refuge? No. Uh, no. The answer is no. Lemons. Rations. Word low flour. flour. Cheddar butter. Apple. Okay. Hmm. Nothing really amazing here. Well, he's a food merchant. Um, berry and wine. Hmm. Well, it's two GP. I mean, the rations are pretty solid, you know? They're worth... They're, he wants two for them? Yeah. That's 10 GP. We've got 269. Yeah, that's not bad. Probably worth having. Also, considering all the shit that's going on on this fucking island, how the hell is this guy still trying to trade? Good question. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Alright, well, um... That's probably okay for now, yeah? Yeah, we should be fine. That's basically an entire rest we've got, so... For the for low, low gold. cost of ten gold, yeah. And then just walk off the map. Yeah. Okay. Do we want go to go back, south? Go back up to just outside the refugee camp. Okay. Look to the left. A bit more. There's a cave. That, I saw a cave, didn't I? To the north? Yeah, up there. What's that cave? No, 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 up, up left. On the other side of oh, the water. Oh, over there. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Oh, yeah. okay. What's that cave? Can we, Can get, we there? get there? Oh, we gotta go way the fuck around. This is so dangerous. Eh, it's probably fine. A huge sea cave created by eons of the sea's relentless attack on the rock gapes in the cliffs ahead. If you take great care, a narrow trail allows you to enter it. Shall we, question mark? Yeah, sure, why not? It's the worst okay. that can happen. We die. This is not the music Speaking I expected. Of which, save game. Oh, what's the quick save button? I think it's F5. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh. Hello? Hello. Pirates! You look like a land lover. Burp. Thank you. Uh. Good question, lads. Farewell and adieu to you, ladies of all. Uh, they're friendly enough. Oh, a mercenary. That's a mercenary. Yeah. We don't have 500 gold. We do not <laughs> have 500 gold. But why is the rum gone? <laughs> Is that a recipe? I wonder what happened to the captain. Baked, Baked onions. onions. We have so many onions. Freed. Sweet. All it takes is onions, too. That's great. I wonder what happened to the captain. They're missing their captain? Hmm. More pirates. I don't think they're these are pirates. Lucky. I mean, they're, they're That's salty an sea table. dogs. Yeah. Okay. 
I think they're smugglers. Oh, you do? I like the sound of that. Right then. Fresh swab monkeys, I see. <laughs> Just pulling your leg. I'm Anto, quartermaster of this here fine ship. You looking for something? I might have a few odds and ends to sell off now that we're stuck here. Yes, I'm with it. You seem to have a lot of food supplies. Oh. Aye, we were headed for the mainland fully laden when we came, became stranded here. I have crates and crates for food, but I risk having it rot on me if we don't get it out of here soon. Kester is to a large pile of crates nearby. There's a famine crisis brewing in the refugee camp. The quartermaster strokes his chin thoughtfully. Look, I'd be happy to help if I could, but this here cargo is not mine to give. We carry it, we don't own it. At the very least, you'd have to pay me for it. I'd say 500 gold pieces would get you enough to feed your people for weeks. That's a lot of money. Might be, but it is. It might be so, but it really is the best I can do for you. I need to think about this. Hey, uh, can we trade with him? Oh, quite possibly. Let's talk. Show me what you have for sale. All right. What can we give you Vendor to get five three thousand gold? <laughs> this is cheap. Ooh, he's got master. a bunch of cool shit. Masterwork Damn. short bow, fine short bow defense, great hammer. Accurate Masterwork Mace. Officer's Helmet of Lore. Masterwork Armored Gauntlets of Diplomacy. Damn. Right, so, let's see. Uh, nobody is using axes. 233. Wow, that would get us most of the way there. Or all yeah. the way there. No, most. We need 500, we only have 259. Do we sell it then? Sure, we could always get other weapons. Nobody's yep. using axes. And then... I don't know, maybe... A, do we have, like, any random valuables? No, we've seen to have sold all those off. If we sell you this food, will you sell us your food? <laughs> <laughs> we can't sell that. We can't sell the guild seal. Zero GP, it's not worth anything. What about Just some of our tonics, eh? Oh, that's worth a lesser tonic of Vitality is worth twelve. Uh twenty-five. I mean I'd rather do a couple of the ones we have a bunch of than one the, the ones we have one of, you know? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Wait, go to the five? The one next to it, to the left? Or Randy. how much? How much will he give us for that? Never what? mind. Alright. One tonic of vitality it is. That puts us at 504 GP. We're going to spend our entire load to feed some refugees. What are I we? Mean, heroes or are we adventurers? I mean, come on now. <laughs> I mean, why can't both be true? <laughs> what are we going to spend our money on? All of this cool gear that he has? <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Oi, mate. About the food supplies. I'll pay the 500. Good to hear. So you have the 500 gold? I do. Wonderful. Tell you what. Since I feel bad for taking your gold, I'll have some of my boyos help you lug the supplies back to camp. In fact, you go ahead and return to the refugees with the good news. By the time you get there, food will be right behind you. Our oh, master begins organizing a work party. You should return to Franza with the good news. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, that guy really loved his goats, so... Maybe this is the... Oh. A tall, muscular woman, beautiful but for a scar across the cheek, stands looking over papers whilst apparently counting under her breath. Her flamboyant outfit marks her not only as a southerner, but also as an officer. Ah, I see cell swords have come to answer the maiden's plea. She grins, revealing a golden tooth. Her smile, however, does not quite reach her eyes. Metro Mandano in the refugee camp. I am Zara, first mate of the illustrious Weather Maiden. She gen gestures grandly to the anchored ship. As she proceeds, a shadow falls over her face. We are on our way to the mainland, but we encountered something ancient. We lost many a good man, and the ship was bravely damaged. However, by the grace of the blind and our captain's good fortune, we outran the beast and made it to the shallows. Did not pursue us there, and we suspect it will not stray too far from deeper waters. Thankfully, we were close to the sea cave, and we've been holed up here since. 
behemoth that sunk our ship as well as we attempted to land. Behemoth indeed. What a strange fate that we should both be survivors of something so deadly. In our case, we made as good as an escape as can be had against such a horror. The maiden is fast, but more so our captain, Iago Zadroma, is the finest captain to sail these waters. Be their sails black or white. Where is your captain now? That is where I hope you might be of assistance. While we await repairs, our cargo is rotting in our holds. The captain decided to venture into Horan and seek out the Rat Queen in a black market in a bid to offload what he could. I advised him against it as the Queen is cruel and fickle. Black market? As you may have surmised, our operation is less than sanctioned by the Empire. We must ply our trade in the shadows and we deal with those we can, I suppose. In any case, you no doubt know as well as I what has befallen the island. Horn is overrun by madmen, and I fear that the captain was still inside its walls when the city fell. In any case, we have not seen him for days, and I fear the worst. A slight hint of desperation creeps into her voice. And now you want me to look for him? Indeed. If you could make it inside the walls, you would be doing a favor to the finest captain in the Outer Isles if you could venture to rescue him. Surely that must be worth something. I'll keep an eye out for him. Zara looks relieved. That is all I ask. I would begin the search at the Rat Queen's court. I've never seen it myself, but I hear it lies deep in the sewers under the city. Just be careful and trust no one, least of all the Rat Queen. Zara spits in contempt. I have some questions first. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they're not going to see until the behemoth is dealt with. We've yep. heard enough about the captain. He's apparently the best of the best of the best of the best with honors. Yep. I think and, we're good. Okay. Okay, great. I mean, way out of here. this is actually super helpful when you think about it, because we're getting information about the place that we're going to. Oh, like, totally. Would we have found the Rat Queen's court without no going here first, you know? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Huh. We have to go okay. all the way back around, apparently. So if they're outlined in gray, they're not important. And if they're outlined in blue, they are. Interesting. Yep. Well, on the plus side, we got some bacon for the, uh, the peeps. Yep. God, I could go for some bacon right now. <laughs> and this we cave is far. terribly structured. Well, it's a cave. Nobody built it. <laughs> Just saying. All right, let's go all the way back around, I guess probably fine. Have we even seen a random encounter in this game? I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Well, uh, next time on Character Select, back to the ref- Oh, never mind. There's a first time for everything! Uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And, damn it, I, why do I <laughs> say just, anything? You just had to open your mouth. Why do I say anything? <laughs>